bonjour today is sunday march 20th last day of the march break uh i am here in hamilton doing a uh 25.6 kilometer section of the iroquois section of the bruce trail it's four degrees out uh yeah it was raining but it stopped and it sh should hold off now for the rest of the day in fact it should get uh, sunny later Mm-hmm. so this is how i'm ending my march break so yeah Nine steps. Uh, I've been hiking for an hour and five minutes. I've hiked 4.4 kilometers. Yeah, lots and lots of garbage uh, through this section. I do remember that from having done this section before. So, anywho, yeah, way too much for me to be collecting, like, and everything, everything from like propane tanks, shopping carts, um, a million water bottles, beer bottles, Crown Royal bottles, like just everything. So yeah, that's life in the big city because we are right in the heart of uh, Hamilton. Anyway. This area has been cleaned up because the last time I came through here, this was a full-on dump site and, you know, people were living here and all that kind of stuff. Once again, chillin'. He's everywhere. you're probably thinking like what a terrible section it's so you know like <clears throat> not in nature but you must remember that the Bruce Trail is a metaphor for life so it's not always going to be sunshine and lollipops and this is part of it and it helps you appreciate them when we get out of this part and all of that stuff so so just remember that there was a section like this too in the um, on the Camino de Santiago, like it went through a very unsightly industrial area. And yeah, I, that's what I thought immediately. I'm like, well, it's just like life, you know, like, yeah, it's not always pretty. It is not always pretty. So voila.
right, it is 12.34 or something, so I've been hiking for two hours. I've hiked um, 8.2 kilometers, hiked, whatever. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful day. Yeah, so yeah, even though it's not like as much, you know, as in nature, as you know, would be nice, it's still, yeah, it's a wonderful walk and I'm happy to, to be getting exercise, so. Blah, blah, blah. Let's keep doing that. Not going there, unfortunately. So yes, we are on another paved section, which is totally fine. You know, like I just think of Beaver Valley, for example, and all of the muck and incline and sliding. And I say, thank you, Bruce Trail, for this bit of pavement. Right, it is uh, 1.39 p.m. I've been hiking for three hours and five minutes. I've hiked 12.3 kilometers, so almost half. Oh. That's it. This is why I did not complain earlier about the, <laughs> oh boy, about the pavement.
All right, I've been hiking for four hours and 10 minutes. I've hiked exactly 16 kilometers. So just under 10 to go. I, yeah, just backtracked. I cannot find the next blaze for the life of me. Okay. Uh, there. So I do have to, okay, so I was going the right way. So there are a lot of downed trees. That is definitely the longest stretch, I think ever on the Bruce Trail for me that I've gone without seeing a blaze, but there's, there's one. So I'm sure, they will put up more blazes now that the warm weather is here. All right, I've been uh, hiking for five hours and nine minutes. I've hiked 19.5 kilometers. Um, I went off trail twice by accident and once on purpose there to see Sherman Falls. Anyway, so there's about an hour and a bit left, which I'm happy about, I'm tired now, so yeah. By the way, oh my God, one more thing. Um, yeah, the garbage, is basically non-existent now. It was just in the core, like central Hamilton, that there was all kinds of garbage, but now there's none. So that's good.
All right, I've been hiking for six hours and four minutes. So it's 4.30, it's 4.40. Uh, and I've hiked 23.5 kilometers. I'm super tired. So there's only like, there's less than three kilometers left, so. So yay. It just won't end. I want to die. Total today, I hiked for six hours and 50 minutes, 26.3 km, kilometers. And um, so yeah, I just got back from Quebec City and then uh, Silent Lake en route yesterday. So the idea to even do a, like, do a hike today was very last minute, but I contacted uh, trail angel Karen Bergman who helped me out on my New Year's Eve and New Year's Day hike. And she was available, so she drove me this morning and she gave me some of her homemade fudge, which I've been looking forward to eating all day at the end of my trail. It totally melted and exploded in the bottom of my knapsack, but I can tell you from licking my fingers that it's delicious. Yummy. Mm. Mm. Chocolate fudge, knife, pocket knife. Nail clipper, lip seal, and car key. Oh, like it's, it's everywhere, yeah. <laughs> All right, I ate what I could, I cleaned up what I could, and then I put everything else in a plastic bag and I'll clean it off when I get home. I hate wasting. Thank you so much though, Karen, for that very thoughtful gift. I just, yeah, threw it in my backpack. I didn't really, I should have, I should have realized it would warm up and squish and all that stuff, so my bad. Um, anyway, and thank you, Karen, for the lift this morning. Um, yeah, so another long video. I have an illness with taking video of everything. So I'll try to edit as much as I can. Thanks so much for watching. Please continue to watch, comment, like, and subscribe. Keep my retirement dream alive of doing adventures in nature full time when I retire in 12 years and one month. See you in the next video. Thank you.